Okay, so today I want to show you how to run Windows 3.11 and via Windows 3.11 programs uh, through DOSBox and Windows 10. So a couple things you'll need to do, programs you'll need, is first you'll need to download um, DOSBox just dosbox.com downloads then download for your particular operating system most people will probably be Windows they also have Mac OS 10 uh, second program you'll need to download is Windows 3.11 for DOSBox which is included in this link here on a Bandonia forums so just you can't I'll see if I can put that maybe in the description so you can copy and paste, but if I don't, you know, just write it down and you can go there. Uh, it also gives you some tips if you have problems using it. It comes in a .rar file, which is a type of compressed file. If you don't have a program already that can extract it, as I'm not sure whether or not if Windows 10 default compression tool can extract it or not, a good free program that's safe to use and will extract just about any zip format it is 7-zip and it's just 7-zip.org that's what I use so after you download DOSBox and you install DOSBox which is self-explanatory just follow the directions on the screen um, you'll want to create a folder on your C drive I called mine DOS progs as I said in other videos about DOSBox I just do this because that's the instruction uh, this DOSBox gives the example the instructions I saw gives so it's easiest just to do that then I placed this uh, the Windows 3.11 file I downloaded from Abandon Abandonia now, I've used this before but just to be safe we'll go ahead and you know scan it for viruses no threats found so then what you want to do is use 7-zip and extract here so then it extracted all of the files it needs for Windows so then we will <clears throat> bring up uh, DOSBox where did I put that guy? I have some games on here. So here's DOSBox. And you know, now you need to mount your drive, which is real simple DOSPROGS. So I mount my drive. Another important note here is if the program you want to use. Um, and Windows requires CD support. You also need to mount your CD support to your CD ROM drive at this point before you enter Windows, or else it may not work. To do that, you know, a good thing to do when you first install DOSBox is click intro and that gives you some uh, basic directions here. So here it tells you, you know how to mount your drives. Right here, <clears throat> it gives you the basic level of how to mount a CD-ROM drive. So you essentially just type this uh, right here into it. It also has you know different options of support. I'm going to open up a file here so I can remember this here tcd-rom mine's actually drive h so i need to change that all right <clears throat> go back to this window these are also some uh, shortcuts uh, you might need to use the cycle counts here control f11 f12 if something's kind of skipping or running slow you can try control f12 to speed up the cycles and that looks like all the help files. So now we know uh, we'll do mount D. So now we're mounting the CD-ROM. I'm not going to personally use it right now, but in case you need a CD-ROM, uh, this is how you do it. I put H 
right here because my uh, CD-ROM drive is drive H, but if yours is drive D, then you put D. If it's drive M, you put drive M, you know, whatever your CD-ROM drive is. It shouldn't be case sensitive. I just put a capital H out of habit. So it says drive D is mounted as CD-ROM H. So now we'll go to drive C. And if you remember correctly, drive point drive C to this uh, directory in the background here. C local disk DOS prog. So this is where this is. So if, um, if we do dir uh, back, or maybe it's forward slash, I think it's forward slash P, we'll see all the same folders as you notice that are up in here. <clears throat> and the same files. So now if we want to run Windows within this, we just go windows.pat. And here we have Windows 3.11 running within DOSBox. Oops. And, um, I'm probably going to install SimTower and this again. Maybe show a video about it. I know it works because I've used it before. Um, the Zombie Wars, I'm not sure what that is. I, I don't think that normally comes with. Um, Windows, but um, one thing I'll say is um, sometimes the mouse can be a little funky in this, but for the most part, it's perfectly usable. As you can see, you can play your old hearts or whatever. So that's how you play. Um, you can use your Windows 3.11 programs. Valve Pass. So yeah, this apparently is a broken game. I'm not sure why it's there, but I can tell you I've tested like SimCity, Sim Tower, several games in this in here, and they work just fine. Uh, if you have any problems, I would start with Google. You know, something like. Uh, running such and such in Windows 3.11 DOS box. The, you can also try the Abandonia forums. They've always been very good. And that's a wrap. Let me uh,